you probably know that diabetes is a condition where there's too much sugar in the blood. But do you know the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes? Well, that's what we're talking about today. I'm going to tell you what you need to know. My name is Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. Before we talk more about blood sugar, let's go back and talk about insulin. Now, you've probably heard of insulin, and you probably know that insulin is a medication that some people have to take to control their diabetes. But did you know that insulin is a hormone that our body uses and makes to help us deal with sugar? That's right. Insulin is made by the pancreas, and it's a hormone that helps the body use and store sugar from the foods that we eat. So what happens is if you're eating a meal, bread, pasta, sugar, whatever you're eating, uh, you eat the meal and your blood sugar starts to rise. This triggers the pancreas to release insulin insulin. Now this insulin is super important because insulin, as I mentioned, helps our body sort of deal with and, and utilize sugar. Well, how does it do this? It does this by acting like a key. Insulin literally goes and sort of unlocks the door to cells, allowing sugar from the blood to enter into the cells to be utilized. Now this is ultimately what we want. We don't necessarily want sugar out in the blood. We want it in the cells so it can be utilized and our cells can have some energy, etc. That's one of the reasons why insulin is so very, very, very important. So this brings us back to diabetes. As we know, diabetes is a condition where our blood sugar is too high, usually due to issues with insulin. If we have problems with insulin, then we have problems with blood sugar going into the cells and that's a problem causing diabetes. So now to the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition. That means the body has attacked itself. The specific place that it attacks is the pancreas, the insulin producing cells of the pancreas. So the body mistakenly attacks its own self, the insulin producing cells of the pancreas, and this leads to basically not enough insulin either a complete lack of insulin or not enough. Without insulin to serve as a key to allow the sugar in the blood to enter cells, our blood sugar rises and it can get dangerously high. Oftentimes people develop type one diabetes or rather it's discovered in people very young, children or early adolescents. It's an autoimmune disease and people with type one diabetes generally need insulin for the remainder of their life. It can happen at any age, but it does happen predominantly in younger people. Now let's talk about type 2 diabetes. Again, a condition where the blood sugar is too high, but for different reasons. It still has to do with insulin though, but the issue is different with insulin. Remember with type 1, the issue is that the body has attacked its own pancreas, damaging the insulin producing cells in the pancreas. Well, that's not quite the same with type 2. In type 2, our bodies become resistant to insulin, which means it doesn't respond to insulin any longer, or the pancreas doesn't make enough insulin to keep up with the blood sugar that's being taken in. This is why type 2 diabetes is often seen in people who are overweight or obese, people not getting enough exercise, people not eating a healthy diet, or those with a family history. This often happens in adults. We are seeing this in older adolescents, though, as well. And people with type 2 diabetes often have other conditions, things like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, etc. Both types really can occur at any age. They can have overlapping features, uh, but oftentimes we see type 1 in younger people, type 2 in older people, but again, there can be some overlap. Keep in mind that there are other types of diabetes. There's gestational diabetes, that's diabetes in pregnancy. There's also other types of diabetes that can be caused by other underlying conditions or medications, etc. I hope this is helpful. I have a whole video series on diabetes, uh, the signs and symptoms of high blood sugar, uh, treatments for diabetes, etc. Um, please take a look at my video playlist. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, etc. Please sign up for my free health newsletter at drjencaudill.com.